That's one of the funniest things I've seen in fishing right there. Couldn't have called it. Catching one by a cow. You called it. You're like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. Welcome back to That's a Good Fish. We're out here in uh, somewhere in Kansas. That's all I can tell you. And uh, out here just fishing a, a beautiful pond, as you can see. Uh, now, we're told there are lunkers in this pond. Now, today we're going to be throwing spinner baits, crank baits, jigs, uh, probably a little Carolina rigging, and I'm joined by Stinger Stringer once again. Also, you remember him from episode 7, Spawning Crappie. Go ahead and watch that if you haven't watched it. Oh, and here he is right now. Just shows up Bam! with his brand new oh, That's a Good Fish shirt. Out. Look at that. Oh, no. Can't beat it. Hey, guys. I just really want to thank the landowners here uh, for letting us come out. Uh, beautiful day. I think the conditions are good. What do you think, yeah. Lester? I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yeah. You, you can't beat it, man. You have a cow pond like this. Yeah. I mean the fresh smell. I mean that's. I mean that's fresh worth smell it. of manure, fertilizer, and cattle. It's just, you can't beat it. Bass love it. I love it. Cash money. I mean some people make a lot of money off that stuff. Raising yeah. cattle. Letters. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, folks, we're gonna get out on the water and uh, make sure you guys stay tuned because it's gonna be an action-packed episode. Thank that's you, Lord. A good fish. Thank. That's a good fish. Long cast. Love you guys. God bless. You. Long cast. We're up there on the bank getting ready to spawn or spawn in. You know. Lester. It's not a big one, are we? Lester. Little guy. Yeah, just a little keeper. I told you folks there'd be a fish on that log. I'm sitting about knee deep in the water. This might not be a something that has to do with big bass. I got news for you because it's just gonna be fight after fight of big bass today. And man, I finally got my wish. Man, that's a good fish. Oh, Lester. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, folks. I don't know how big he is, but he's a good fish. He's running right at the boat. Let me get the net, Lester. Ah, he's not that big. Just three and a half pounder. Hey, come off. <laughs> Lester, we got to get those in the boat. Meet in the boat, Captain. You know, what I'm doing is out of sight, get a bite. You know, out spinner bait out of sight, get a bite. Oh. And then you miss them. See, I'm talking to you guys on camera and I miss fish, you know. Focus, grass. It's all about focus. focus. Talking about out of sight, get a bite. Come on, we're going to miss a grass. Come on, baby. We'll get it back in the water there. Didn't get a hook in that fish. And there I got him that time. Oh, about fell out of the boat, too. <laughs> oh, it's only like a five pounder. <laughs> Oh, easy, Lester. Easy. John Boat. John Boat etiquette. Uh, you know what, folks? Fishing is pretty easy, and that's a good fish. That's a good fish. There he is. Looks like a pretty good one, folks. Let me stand up here. I was fishing last night. Whoa, whoa, he's getting us wet. Easy, Lester. We're in a John boat now. Lester. Jail. Lester. Oh, and there he is. Not a, not a full pounder. Another solid three pounder. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. I want to catch a fish today. <laughs> Man, you said that. Look at him. He turned the boat over. Oh, I was like, what? That's a full pounder. I guess I could sit up in the front. Oh, son, this is a big one. Okay, Jill. Jill. Oh, shoot. Jill. Be Jill, Lester. Be Jill. This is a giant. Here, you want me to get the net? Yeah. Holy cow, this is a giant. Hold on, Lester. We're in the job boat. Come off. Please don't come off. Oh, shoot. Oh, Lester, you are the man. Oh, shoot. Hold on, Lester. Let me get your photo, brother. God. I want to take one with my phone. Dude, that's... Dude. <laughs> Lester, that... Did I put you on him, Lester? Is that a good fish? That's a good fish. <laughs> get it? That's a freaking stud, bro. Isn't it? Five pounder. Isn't it? Five, five and a half pounder. Now, you know, at these ponds, you know, you got to look for some different kinds of cover here. Now, as you can see, you got a cow out here. 
And uh, what you do is you throw your spinner bait in right by the side of it. Sometimes they'll relate to the cattle. Oh, I got one! You see that? Yep. <laughs> He's related right. Oh, and it's a big fish, folks. See, I told you they relate to that cattle sometimes. Thank you, Ward, for letting me catch one right here. It is a toad. Hey. Hey, you gonna get him in the boat? Oh, man, I'm all. Come on, Lester. You know, sometimes these big fish, you know, they'll lay by those cows. You know, they're just sitting there. It's dark, dark black cow. You know, and they'll sit right under there, nice and warm under there. You know, hey, maybe they'll, I'll make a bed under this cow here because the water's going to be a little warmer. Black cow. So, you know, keep that in mind next time you're at a pond. Throw it by that cow out there. I'm not seeing any cows back here. I'll throw it. We need to get out of here. There's no cows back here. Long cast, big bass. Okay? Long cast, big bass. Yeah, keep it up in the zone. Pretty shallow back here. Cows have made it silt in a little bit. You never know where a big bass is going to spawn. By cow, by can, magic pole, magic pole, who knows? That was crazy. That's one of the funniest things I've seen in fishing right there. Couldn't have called it. Catching one by a cow. You called it. You're like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch this fish. Yeah, look for a cow. You know, most of the fish will stay by those cows. There's your cow. There's his cow. We need him to get back in the water. It's a good tip for the day there. See a cow in the water, you fish. Stinger's hooked up. Is that a good fish or an average fish? I don't, I don't know yet. Oh yeah, you got some shoulders to it. You're not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Pounder. Oh, there he is. Good one. Get a lot of rig. Get a lot of rig again. Feels like a good fish. I'm at my swivel. I'm at my swivel, boss. Wow. Oh, that's a decent fish. Yeah, nice one. Carolina rig. Carolina rig. That's good. Good buy. Then a little pounder. Hold him. You want a picture? Nah. All right. Hook set left. No. No. Big fish. No. <laughs> this is another big fish. I'm just trying to hold on to the boat. He's not that big, but he's a solid fish. It's bad when you're thinking the, you're calling these solid fish, you know. Now two and a half, two and a half pounder. I'm calling it right here, fish. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> There's another one. Hold on. There's another three, three pounder here. Two and a half. This spinner bait is getting a workout, folks. <laughs> I think it's about time for a Target sponsor spinner bait. Okay, yeah. What's up, what? favorite spinner baits to use. You know, a lot of people throw those double Colorado blade spinner bait. This is a uh, knuckle down lures. It's kind of a, a remake of the aggravator spinner bait. And uh, what it is, what's different about it is, you know, most spinner baits have two Colorado blades. This one's got one Colorado blade. And sometimes in tournaments or at ponds, you know, they're used to the two Colorado blades. They're used to two blades. So when you throw a single spin, Gives them a little different look, and sometimes they go crazy on it, like today. Knuckle down lures, great spinner base, great product. Thanks. Get him. Oh, yeah, that's all. Oh, yeah. Another basic. Another basic fish. They're beat up. There's a good fish. Feels real strong. Try and get him the jump here. Yep. There's just another, you know, three pounder, three and a half pounder. 
know. Hey. Somewhat. What he was doing up there, he was running some shad, and I, yep, Stinger, Stringer, noticed that, so I chucked it up there and he was right on. Oh, there he is, right at the boat. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got pierced by that five-aught Gamagatsu. There. Solid fish there. Good fish. Now, yeah. yeah, folks, I got hooked up to another <coughs> good fish here. Watch your rod. Oh yeah, good fish. Wow. Awesome. There's a, another four, four pounder or so. Oh, he's in my line. He's over you. No, he's spitting my line. <laughs> oh, no. Come here, buddy. Folks. Gamagatsu. Five off. Ace can't stand it. I got a big fish here, folks. Oh, man. Another giant. He's not ready to come in yet. Come on, buddy. Get that fish in the boat, Lester. Now, if fish, if this fish was bleeding, this fish isn't bleeding. It is. <coughs> this fish is bleeding. Let me show you something. A little trick any of you guys can do to save a fish in the summertime, all right? Everyone carries Dr. Pepper. Everyone knows that's one of my target sponsors. Don't waste it all, because I like to have a shot of that 23 cake. different flavors. Anyways, where he's bleeding on the cut, you just pour a little Coke on that. And for some reason, the caffeine, carbonation, whatever it is, will stop that cut from bleeding. And you can save a lot of fish in the summertime that way. Just make you sure you put enough on there. He doesn't like it, but it's saving his life right now. So a little home remedy to keep him fish alive there. Man, another great day on the water with Stinger Stringer. We have had some good times recently catching panfish and big bass. One thing that Stinger really helps me with is seeing the big picture. He is always thanking the Lord for the breath in our bodies and his creation. For me, it's easy to forget about that sometimes, but when we are on the water, you can really see how good our God is. I've always said that fishing is calming, but in reality, our Lord and Savior is the one who is calming. As we go through our lives, good and the bad, He is there, and He always will be. searching the tide In the vessel, in the storm 